Hello friends, this video statistics part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 19. Division of a continuous frequency distribution. This case is similar to the discrete frequency distribution. Only difference here is, in this case you have the class intervals as we have seen. In case of continuous frequency distribution, we have the class. For example, 30 to 40, then we have 40 to 50, 50 to 60, right? So what we'll do? Instead of this class, we'll take xi as the midpoints of this 30 to 40, 30 plus 40 by 2, 35, 40 plus 50 by 2, 45, 50 plus 60 by 2, 655. So like this, we'll take the midpoints. Once we have the midpoints, that is xi's, and we have the frequency, we can use the same formulas actually. The same formulas we can use, that is 1 by n into fi into xi minus mean square, that is root mean square deviation. You get deviation, you square it, you get the mean, you find the root. Where n is nothing but you add the frequencies sigma fi and mean is nothing but sigma fi xi by fi. And xi we get from this class. We take the mean of this class, upper limit and lower limit. And then it, it becomes same as discrete frequency. No difference. Here we have to find variance and standard deviation. The first thing we have to do here is to find mean because without mean we can't do anything. The first thing we'll do is to find mean and the mean formula we know is nothing but sigma fi xi sigma fi xi by n. So we have to find fi xi in n. So let's first draw this graph table. This class, class is 30, 40. Then you have 40, 50. Next is 50, 60. And then you have 60, 70. And then you have 70, 80. And 80, 90. And 90. Other. This is the class we have. The frequency is given 3, 7, 12, 15, 8, 3, 2. This is the frequency that is given. Now we have the frequency and we have the class, we don't have xi. To find xi what we have to do? We will take the mean of the lower limit and upper limit of the class. 30 plus 40 by 2, 35. Similarly 40 plus 50 by 2 is 45. 50 plus 60 by 2, 55. 60 plus 70 by 2, 65. 70 plus 80 by 2, 75. And 80 plus 90 by 2 is 85. And 90 plus 100 by 2 is 95. So we have got xi fi. We have to find summation of xi fi. So we have to multiply these two. So what we'll get is fi xi. Multi multiply this 3 into 35. That becomes 105. 45 into 7. That becomes 315. 12 into 55. That becomes 660. 15 into 65. This becomes 975. 80 to 75. That becomes 600. And 3 into 85, this becomes 255. And 2 into 95 becomes 190. What we have done, we just multiply this 3 into 35, 105. 7 into 45, this. 12 into 55, 660. 15 into 65, 975. 875. 8 into 75 is 600. 3 into 85 is 255. And 2 into 95 is 190. We have to find sigma fi xi, so let's add this. 5 plus 5, 10, 20, 0, 2 carry, 2, 1, 3, 3, 6, 9, 9 plus 7, 16, plus 5, 21, plus 9, 30, 3 carry, 3, 1, 4, 4, 3, 7, 7 and 6, 13, 13 and 9, 22, 28, 28, 30, 31. So this is 3, 1, 0, 0. To find n, we'll add all this frequency 7 plus 3, 10, 10 plus 12 is 22, plus 15, 37, 37 plus 8, 45, and 5, 50. So n is also good. Correct? So we have sigma fi xi and we have sigma fi, that is n. This is n, n is good. So we can find the value of mean. So mean is nothing but summation of fi xi by n, where i is equal to 
pi is equal to 1 to n h right so so this is nothing but 3100 by 50 and this value comes out to be 62 so we have mean is equal to 62 so how battle is won we have the value of mean now what we have to do we have to find the deviation of xi with mean and we have to find the square so that is we have to find xi minus 62 so let's first find xi minus 60 35 minus 62 is nothing but minus of 37 correct 45 minus 62 is nothing but minus 27 what i am doing is this value i'm subtracting minus 62 from this value 62 sorry from this value 55 minus 62 is nothing but minus 17 65 minus 62 is nothing but 65 this is sorry 65 minus 2 65 minus 2 is nothing but 3 75 minus 2 is 13 85 minus 2 is 23 and 95 minus 62 is 33 the next step is we have to find the square of this that is xi minus mean that is 62 square 37 square is nothing but 729 27 square is nothing but 289 17 square is nothing but there is a miscalculation here please 35 minus 2 is 27 this is 17 and this is 07 there is a mistake on my part calculation mistake correct so 27 square is 729 17 square is 289 7 square is 49 3 square is 9 13 square is 169 23 square is 529 and 33 square is 1089 right see xi minus 62 35 minus 62 is minus 27 45 minus 62 is minus 70 55 minus 62 is minus 7 this is 0 7 and 65 minus 62 is 3 so we have got the value of xi minus x square let's add this 9, 9, 18, 18 plus 9 is all 9 only, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? Now let's find the value of fi into xi minus x mean square, why? Because the formula of uh, deviation which we have is mean deviation is nothing but 1 by n into sigma fi xi minus x mod square, that is nothing but variance, correct? Variance. Where is equal to this much? So let's find this value first. We will multiply the star mark with this star mark. What will get 3 into 729? That will uh, we'll get 2187. 7 into 289, what will get? 2023. Right? 12 into 49. Yeah, 12 into 49. What will get? 588. 15 into 9. What will get 135 and 8 into 169 what will get is 1587 sorry 8 into 69 8 9 is 72 2 7 8 into 6 48 48 plus 7 15 5 8 1 8 8 plus 5 30 135 sorry and 3 into 529 is nothing but 1587. Very simple. 3 into 529, 9327. 3 into 6, 8, 5, 3, 15. 2 into 1089 is nothing but just multiply by 2. 9 into 18, 8 to 16, 17, and 21. This is the values we got. We'll add these values. What will get? 7 into 3, 10, 18 plus 5, 23. 23 plus 225 plus 7 32 plus 0 8 40 0 4 4 is carry here 4 plus 8 12 12 plus 2 14 14 plus 8 is 22 3 25 30 38 plus 7 45 4 carry 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 5 10 11 11 plus 3 14 14 plus 5 90 and 1, 20, 0, 2 carry, 
टू फोर सिक्स सेवन एट टेन सो वन जीरो जीरो फाइव जीरो बी पार्ट नल्स अप्लाई दिस फॉर्मूला वेरिएंस इज गट टू वन बाय एन टू सिग्मा एफ आई इनटू एक्स आई माइनस मीन स्क्वायर दैट इज एन इज वन बाय एन इज फिफ्टी सो दिस गोस वन बाय फिफ्टी इनटू वन जीरो जीरो फाइव जीरो 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 इज कैंसल फाइव आल्सो कैंसल सो यू गेट टू जीरो वन सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ वेरिएंस टू फाइंड सेन डिविजन इज नथिंग बट एस डी इज नथिंग बट रूट ऑफ वेरिएंस दैट इज root of this sd is nothing but root of variance that is root of 201 and that value comes out to be 14.18 that is also the answer we have two answers variance is 201 and standard deviation is 14.18 what we have done first thing we did was we found the value of mean to find the value of mean we need fi xi so we first got xi and then we got fi xi we added this And we found the value of mean. Once we have the mean, we found the deviation of x i from mean. We squared it. We got this value. And then we found f i into square of deviations. We got this value. So we added this. We got this. And then we use the formula of variance is equal to one by n into summation of f i into x i minus mean square to get the value of variance as two zero one. Once we have the value of variance, we got standard deviation as root of variance that is fourteen point one. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.